Okay. Now what do you want me All to right, do? Alright, so now uh, you show the old man the obituary. Oh. So now he won't mess with the printer, because he'll be like, oh, fuck. I don't want to die. Mm hmm. And then, it's, it's, oh, oh yeah, he knows he dies, and and that's what the egg is for, too, is the carbonator, I guess, or something. Because then that's part of his quest. Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. And I could help! <laughs> Kinda makes and I could help! Fun. Oh no, there are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. Well, now I so now I just remove the ink from the printer and ask the computer for a time card. Nobody's gonna need this worthless ink ribbon. <laughs> hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. <laughs> Where did it land? At the rate we're going, carry the trace. Last month at the castle in Germany. Wait, was that a quest item in Germany? Was there an ink ribbon in Germany? Well, hey, was there? Was that an item? <laughs> no, I forget. All right. So ask the computer for a new time card, and he'll give you a blank with no time. We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It's blank. So long. Get lost, failure. <laughs> I still love him. All right, time for the blank time card. Use the blank. The final card. Final coming right. Listen, he doesn't have it on a belt. That's a good point. Well, I mean, hey, hey, hey. The only time traveling common rider used a train. So. Oh, okay. Just look at it, Max. Uh, what am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe. Before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something, oh. it's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? Funny meeting you here. Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes. Well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. <laughs> oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. Nice weather we're having. How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull, but that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. Can't be all that bad. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Come with us. Why don't you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. That chicken is the source of all life in the universe. Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox? <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. <laughs> hmm. Apparently I am. First. And there's the rub. See you around, Well, now, now we know who came first, not, chicken. Sam, since he'll be long dead before no. we're even born. Oh, the egg God. came first. Oh, so... What do I do? 
Use it on Mr. Featherly. You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait, what are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! <laughs> Time stream altered. Jackass. Well, the egg came first. <laughs> Look at the singularity. That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> I like how there's no music, too. It's kind of creepy in a weird way. So now go home. Right? It's it's, it's good, though. It's good design, not gonna lie. Well, now we know the answer. Yep, so now you gotta show him the answer. It was the chicken. Whole time. Yeah, the chicken came first. Technically, we're lying, because... No, wait, now technically it's true, because he was there before. And we replaced him with the egg. Put me down at He's once. yelling at me as I pick him up, Not too. Yet, Mr. Featherly. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, man. Do you ever wash that coat? No. <laughs> He's from before. <laughs> Why the yeah. chicken? Yeah. Turns out the chicken came first. Hmm. It makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we, put we an egg. left an egg. Likely story. I'll have to see that egg. But, but, but. I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Wait, wait, wait! No! Don't no, put me back in that! Any more questions <laughs> about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. <laughs> Woohoo! Now the spaceship is ours to He just stepped on the button, didn't he? Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission? To hug to Caligula. Oh my gosh. Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What's happening? I knew it. I don't want to go! Whoops. Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. <laughs> well, go extend the bridge. There's a button over next to Bosco's dead body. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I actually clicked off the game. Oh, am I? Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, it's over here. I like how it's still playing the, mir the mariachi music in here. Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. Extending bridge. <laughs> there you go. Hola, Sam y Max. You don't know us, but we are time-traveling mariachis. We say warning from the... Your uh -huh. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Uh-oh. <laughs> Foreign bodies in time vortex. Self-destruct sequence engaged. Madre de Dios. Let's get out of here. We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Maxi-san. <laughs> Wait, it's a sombrero. It, the UFO is a sombrero. Are you fucking serious? Setting course for the beginning of the universe. Oh no. Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. So, so go back over to the controls and hit the suck boy. Knock yourself out, pal. Give Frosco the good suck. 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 Give him the suck. 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 Hmm. The soul vacuum is only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. Hmm. Oh, all right. Shit. So. Uh, use the tar cake with the time controller. And 
all those tourists rubbing their hands all over. Um. Oh, we stopped time. Okay, now what? All right. Now. Uh, hit the su oh, I'm sorry. You're supposed to hit the suck button, then use the tar cake. Burp, burp. It won't do anything while time is frozen. Uh, how do I restart time? I guess you just click it again. It won't do anything while time is frozen. No. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so tell me that tell me everything as fast as you can, because I'm gonna have to hit that and then time, stop time. Well, you hit the suck button, then you stop time, and then you're fine. Okay. So I say, no, I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's all. Okay, now what? I'm going to pause this time while you read. Now. Hmm? I'm going to pause this time while you read, so I don't have to redo all that. Oh, no, you have time. You just run over to Bosco's body, and that finishes the episode. Oh, okay. It's a cliffhanger. Yeah. Well, uh... Air hanger, body air hanger, and bus. There we go. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. If this doesn't work. I'll see you in hell. Literally. <laughs> that's where it ends. Yeah. This doesn't work. I'll sit out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It ends on a cliffhanger! Except for we won't be recording for like another month or two, so we won't know what it is for a while. <laughs> Shh, it's fine. Shh, it's fine. Oh, I get it. Chariots of the God Dogs. I get it. Ha ha ha. I like how the fucking mariachi running gag was a plot device. I was wondering what the plot device in this season was. It was a lot less obvious than Hugh Bliss. <laughs> it's still really good, though. It was good. It was really good. Like I said, Hubliss was fucking obvious. I, wa I wasn't quite sure it was the mariachis. I thought maybe, but I wasn't sure. I'm just glad the soda poppers only appeared twice, technically, so far. I was about to say, you do not know the hell you have wrought. What do you mean? Oh, I'm going to guess in the next episode, there's a ton of them. Mm. I mean, we are going to hell, so... It it's mm. only fitting that we see more of them when we go to hell. Well, join us next time, everybody, for uh, more. What's new, Beelzebub? More Max and Sam adventure. So anyway, what did you learn while we're waiting while the credits are going? Uh. Well, you know, Dan, I didn't really learn anything because it was my birthday recently. If you expect me to edit in the fucking mariachis <laughs> doing birthday, fuck you, because I ain't fucking doing that. Because that's a lot of work getting them, because I'd have to green screen them and mask them and have them dance around the screen, and that's a lot of work that I don't want to do. You could have just played the song, I mean, but okay. yeah, but that's not the same. I would have to have them on screen, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. You could just do, like, the trumpet boy meme, and you have them, like, wiggling around. No? I mean, yeah, right. but that's, that's more than I want to do. And I feel like if I'm going to do it, I might as well go all out, so, nah. Yeah, right, fair enough. Besides, it's not even your fucking birthday, liar. I mean, it was, like, a month and a half ago? Well, maybe two months by the time this goes up. <laughs> Probably. Oh! Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, this is gonna create the universe. What are you tell me? The universe is created because a UFO sombrero hit a singularity, and that created the universe. I've heard dumber theories. And now you know. And you know what? Why tacos are the best food. You, you know, that's what I learned. I learned that's how the universe is created. I was gonna yep, say, maybe. I learned that this game needed more options for me to fuck around with Bosco, but this will do. Yeah, we, we learned a lot about astrophysics today.
Carl Sagan would would have loved to be here to see this, but unfortunately he passed not too long ago. And, uh, rip. Actually, yeah. Oh well. Oh, we should have called up Neil deGrasse Tyson as our special guest star. What were we doing? Yeah, that's true. Oh well. We should have called up Magic Black Astronomy Man. Next time. Well, not really, but next time. Yeah. So join us next time with uh, I, uh, What's New Beals Above, where we have special guest star Neil deGrasse Tyson and the Pope. We are not doing an entire episode where we pretend to be Neil deGrasse Tyson and the Pope. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on Get the top. fuck out. <laughs>